At Rotorville Botanical Gardens, we decided to create a uh, Thomas Jefferson collection. And we did it for Thomas Jefferson. He's a fantastic gardener. He was our third president. He was our, one of our founding fathers. But he also was founding gardener. He just loved gardening. He thought introducing a new plant to the country was the most patriotic thing you could do. So his whole life revolved around agriculture. He also was a scientist, so he would approach all his gardening tasks with a scientific uh, flair to it and was a wonderful note taker, recorded all his achievements, but he also recorded his failures, like any good scientist would do, because he figured that was the scientific method. And being a wonderful note taker kind of gives us the, the third reason we did this, is it gives us such a great insight into what gardening was. He was an early American gardener, but he was a very unique gardener because he tried so many different things. Some of the techniques we did, um, one of my favorites is the, uh, the pea sticks. And um, peas, garden pea was Jefferson's favorite uh, vegetable. So um, he grew a lot of peas. And his technique for growing peas with the pea sticks was to take branches and stick them in the ground and then let the peas just grow up the branches. And it works really well. It was, a, it was wonderful researching all this um, and one of the, I think one of the neatest things that I found was that um, some, of the, some of the plants that were brought back from the Lewis and Clark expedition, um, Jefferson actually took some of those and grew them in his own garden. And we actually have um, at least three different types of plants here that were grown uh, by Thomas Jefferson which were uh, retrieved from the Lewis and Clark expedition. We have corn, which is a Mandan corn that was grown by the Mandan Indians. We have an Arakira bean, bush bean. And then Gallardia, which was a flower that was brought back from the expedition.